Do you think you're ready to put your house on the market? Stop and watch this video. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. Every week I post videos about what it's like to live and work here and guidance on buying, selling, and investing in the area. If this is something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell so that you're notified of the new videos I release every Monday. Did you know that when you put your house on the market for sale, you're actually entering a competition? You are competing against every other house on the market. You want to make sure that you give your home the best possible chance. In today's video, I'm going to give you the 10 most important things you can do to get your home ready for sale. And don't worry if you don't have a pen and paper. In the description box below, I actually have a link where you can request your own copy of my free How to Prep Your Home for Sale guide. Number one. Freshen up your curb appeal. Did you know that a buyer will decide in the first 10 seconds whether or not they're even gonna walk through the front door? Let's make sure they walk through yours. Start by pulling any weeds you've got in any of your landscaping. Freshen it up, trim back bushes and trees and anything that might be intruding on any pathways. Make sure your grass is cut. If you have anything stored in front of your house or on the side of the house, anything cluttered, make sure that you get rid of all of that as well. If the time of the year permits, it's really nice if you can plant some nice, fresh, bright flowers. If your front door is looking weathered, consider painting it a nice, bright, complimentary color. It'll really draw in the buyer and give them a good first impression. You should also buy a brand new doormat to go right in front of that door. Number two, declutter and depersonalize. Now I made a whole video about this topic specifically. I'll go ahead and link it above. But just to summarize, you want to depersonalize your space. Take down all the family photos and any of the fam family memorabilia that might be throughout the home. The buyer wants to picture themselves in the space, not necessarily you. You also want to declutter. Now's the time to pack away all the knickknacks, any collectibles, and especially your counters. Buyers love counter space. So clear off those kitchen counters, clear off those bathroom counters, and make sure you're showing them off. Number three, pare down the furniture. Now's the time to get rid of any unnecessary furniture. That might include the third dresser in your bedroom that you don't really use anyway, or maybe that hand-me-down coffee table that you just didn't have the heart to get rid of before. Now's the time to pare down and get rid of it. You can either donate it if you don't need it anymore, or you might consider getting a short-term storage unit for all the stuff that you're decluttering and depersonalizing and any of the furniture that you actually do want to keep and use in your next home but it may not be necessary to keep in this home. Remember, as a buyer's walking through the space, you, you wanna consider the flow of the space. They need to be able to walk through all the rooms freely and not be trampling over stuff like it's an obstacle course. Number four, organize. Storage is really, really, really important to buyers. They're going to be opening closet doors and cabinet doors. You wanna make sure anything you haven't already packed away is nice and neat and organized in all of those spaces. Consider packing away at least half of the items in every closet because that's actually gonna give the appearance that you actually have too much storage and that's gonna be appealing to the buyers. Number five, do a deep clean of your home. That means move the furniture you haven't moved in years and clean those dust bunnies underneath of it and behind it. Don't forget to dust things like ceiling fans and chandeliers. Bust out the bleach on the tile grout. The cleaner the home is, the more appealing it's going to be to buyers. Before we get into the next item, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and say hello in the comments section below. If you know anybody that can benefit from the information I'm sharing here today, please share the video with them. Number six. Do the smell test. <laughs> okay, in all seriousness, smells evoke very strong emotions in people. You want to make sure that your home smell evokes the right kind of emotion in your prospective buyer. If you've had anybody that's been smoking in the home for a really long time, you'll want to consider getting rid of any of the fabric that might be holding in that smell. That includes carpets, area rugs, drapes, and some of the furniture as well. You want to deep clean whatever can't be removed and you want to remove whatever, remove whatever can. If you have pets that might have had some accidents on the carpet, you might also want to get those deep cleaned as well. And if the time of year and the weather permits, open up all the windows and air out your house, especially if it's a vacant home. 
I am going to recommend that you avoid lighting strong scented candles because you know the wrong scent can actually really deter a buyer or cause you know headaches. So you don't want that. Instead, consider purchasing and putting fresh flowers around the home or maybe even baking some fresh cookies. Number seven, brighten it up. Buyers want light, bright spaces. The more natural light coming into the space, the larger it's going to feel, the more appealing it's going to be to the buyer. So if you have any heavy drapery, take that down. Open up the blinds and brighten up the space. Make sure you have nothing blocking the natural light that could be coming into the space. And as you're on the market, every time you have a showing, make sure that your blinds are open and the natural sunlight is coming through. You also want to make sure all your light bulbs are working and every room is properly lit if you do have any evening showing. Number eight make repairs. Now's the time to make all the small repairs in your home that you've been putting off. Maybe the broken outlet or that leaky faucet or maybe the kitchen cabinet door that just fell off the hinge. You don't want to give the buyer any unexpected concerns as they're walking through the home. So make those repairs now before they come up on the buyer's home inspection report. You might also consider getting a pre-listing home inspection done as well. And I've talked about that in my home inspection tips for sellers and I'll link that above if you want to check that out. Number nine, don't skip the permits. Now this might be specific in New Jersey, but I highly doubt it is. If you've done any work to your home, any upgrades or updates that you've done in the home since you've lived there that may require a permit, you're going to want to get the permits now. Do not wait until two days before the closing to find out that you needed a permit for that hot water tank and you didn't get one because all it's going to do is delay the closing, cost you more money and time, and you might end up losing the buyer because they might actually lose faith in the property since you didn't get the permit in the first place. So anything that you might have a question on whether or not it needed a permit, check with your town now, your city or town now, and make sure that if it required a permit that you go through the proper process to obtain that before closing. Number 10. Hide your valuables. While you're on the market, you're going to have a lot of strangers coming through your home. If you naturally keep your jewelry box and your jewelry on display on your dresser, you're going to want to go ahead and pack that away. If you have a catch-all tray by your front door and that's where your wallet and keys and money and maybe even your jewelry goes, make sure that you don't do that while you're on the market. Make sure those items get packed away in a safe place, either in a safe in your home or maybe even a friend or relative's home just while you're on the market just to avoid any potential issues. If you want to get a copy of my free How to Prep Your Home for Sale guide, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you found this information helpful. My goal is to make the content you're looking for. So if you have a suggestion for a future video, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you don't miss the videos I release every week. I'll see you on the next video. My dog broke wants to make an